Hey everyone, today's video is uh, is one that is directed directly at the people that are really watching Tom and Sense. And especially for those anywhere from 18 to 44 years old and nearly 93% of everyone that watches this is a guy. So I want to speak directly to you guys. I'm going to be 46 next year. These are the three things I would tell my 25 year old self that I would work on if I had the chance to do it all over again. And these are things I never really thought of when I was younger. Uh, it wasn't until I got older that I realized, man, if only I would have started earlier. And so the first one is my faith. If you don't have a faith, if you don't follow anything, that's it's totally fine. But for me personally, if I could go back and tell my 25-year-old self, get your mind right with God. Get focused on your faith Make sure you understand what Christianity is all about. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, I was raised Roman Catholic. Walked away when I was about 18 because I'm like, this makes no sense. But in my early 30s, <clears throat> I became a Christian. And it changed everything. It literally changed everything. The, the way I looked at finances, the way I looked at relationships, the way I looked at eternity. I mean, it, it changed my life. So if I could have had a lot more time in that and having that outlook um, being able to give all my worries and my um, fears to God earlier I believe I would have made a lot better decisions and I would have been able to have been carried through uh, things that would have maybe propelled me to be in a better state financially and emotionally but again, I don't regret anything that, that I've done. I, I know I've made mistakes in the past and will continue to make mistakes. But my faith and having it grounded in Christ has changed my life completely. So that would be the first step that I would say is make sure your faith is grounded. Second, investing is something that oh, I've talked about on my channel and it's something that a lot of people try and a lot of young people get into, but I find that it's not something that a lot of people are consistent with. Now, I'm not talking about savings. Uh, that's something that uh, I think a lot of people do as well, but understanding investing and realizing what it can actually do, right? The rule of 72 and compounding interest and getting into stocks so you guys that are 18 to 25 and you're like, I don't know where to start. You know what? Get 500 bucks, put it away and invest it in your own stocks. Pick a company that you guys like and stick with it. Watch it. Understand how it grows, what the markets do in the downturn. And you're, and you're so young right now. If you're watching this and you're 18 to 25, you are so young. And you have so much time to be able to understand how the markets react how things happen. The closer you're able to watch this and the more effort you put in by understanding what's happening, the better off you will be when you get older. And this is all about a learning opportunity. It's all about getting things correctly into their place, making sure that you understand what's happening, and then ha being able to surround yourself with people that will help you along your journey, right? Direct investing and investing in itself is a step to where you want to go. And it will either help you or hinder you. You'll either have a good relationship or a bad relationship with finances. And thirdly, be disciplined. This is something that I thought I was really good at uh, because of the military. It did serve me well uh, while I was in. I realized I wasn't as good as I thought I was until I got into my 40s with this. And what that really can do for business, personal growth, and everything else. And be disciplined for the right reasons. Be disciplined for your personal growth. Be disciplined for your personal relationships. Be disciplined for the things that you hold dear. And that goes with faith. That goes with investing. But that goes with your health. When you're 25, you think that this, these guys in their 30s and 40s are ancient. 
I remember being a 25 year old thinking when I was in the military, I'm like, how do these guys at 45 just keep going? How, how are they able to do this? And the one thing I realized is it's all about discipline and, and the way that you you shape your mind to be able to do these things. So if I could tell my 25 year old self, be more disciplined. Yes, your diet. Get the shit food out of your diet. Get it out right now. Get it out. The less time that you spend with shitty food, shitty friends, shitty situations, the better off you'll be when you're 35 and 45. I feel better today than I did at 35. And that all has to do with my faith, with my investing, and also with my discipline. So these are the three things that have really helped me out. And I, and I want to pass on this knowledge. I feel like it's a, it's a responsibility that I have, you know, since I've gotten to the age of 45, that I'm going to tell the young men what they should be doing, what they should be really focusing on and staying away from. And if I could, if I would, could go back, I would have told myself, make sure you got your faith right. Make sure you understand investing and make sure your disciplines are on task. Make sure you're focused on where you want to go and your diet, your, your health and your finances all play a key role in who you are going to become. You become the average of the five people you hang out with. So your discipline should be focusing on that. I don't regret any of the things that have happened in my life. I don't regret any of the decisions I've made because it has got me to where I am today. So I am not a person that lives with regret. Uh, if anything, I feel that if I what didn't go through those bad decisions, good decisions, decisions out of my control, then I wouldn't be here today. And you know what? When I look at my life, in a nutshell that it is, I'm very blessed. I'm very happy that I am where I am. Could things be better? For sure. They could always be better, right? Something could always be better. I hope this brought some value. I know that if I was 18 to 25 right now, I'd want to hear what guys in their four, that are 45 are doing. And if they're successful, this is what I want. I want to be doing because again, I want to grow. So I'm looking at people in their fifties and sixties asking myself this question. Do I want to be like them? And if yes, what are they doing that's different? Or what are they doing that I think I should be doing? And then I just go with that because that, that makes sense. That cuts so much of your mistakes in half. If you can just learn and if somebody can tell you. So I hope you guys take this advice. Uh, if you guys have any comments or questions about what I've mentioned, if you think there's things I've missed, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing. Remember, common sense, because common sense isn't so common.